interesting topic here. Pretty brides turning into ugly wives. Have you ever heard of something or something similar? There might be a number of reasons why someone goes through such a radical transformation after marriage, but our relationship expert has a couple of reasons why to kind of help us understand. Lisa Lieberman Wang joining us this morning to explain some key reasons. Hey, welcome back to the show. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. And now that we have talked about this topic, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I think we all go in with this fairy tale like, hey, I'm going to get married one day, meet Prince Charming. But no one ever tells the story of after you get married. When we grow up, right. we don't see that. So is that kind of what we're talking about? Well, yeah, it is. We end up modeling our moms, mm -hmm. thinking everything they did is what we should do. And what's interesting about it is you fall into a rut not even knowing it. I mean, the first thing is, I'm going to have this incredible marriage, and you're planning the wedding, but nobody ever plans the, the marriage part. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like it, you get there, and before you know it, things aren't what you expected them to be. You're trading in sexy for mommy loafers, and <laughs> oh, gosh. You're, you're not actually so... thinking. But when we say pretty, we're not just talking pretty physically. We're mm -hmm. talking pretty, meaning internally, are you... Are you still like showing love and affection to this man? Are you starting to be angry and lashing out in public at, you know, at him? Are you, are you frustrated? Are you treating him as nicely as you did at the beginning? And it works both ways, you know. Chivalry isn't dead, and sometimes right. after people get married, they get comfortable, right? Yeah, and you know, I, I've talked to many older couples, and I always ask, whenever I hear someone's been married at least 10 years or more, what is the secret? 20 years, 30 years, and they always say, whatever you start out doing, continue yeah. to do. Is that another key to all That's of this? That's exactly it. The first one, you know, there's five different challenges that most people have. The first one is, the first goal is usually put a ring on it. Mm -hmm. You know, I got the ring, that was a motivation, took care of myself, looked great, feel wonderful, and all of a sudden I got the ring, now what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> gotcha. You know, got it, right? And then the second one that ends up happening is, you know, you find out that after you, put, you become complacent and compliant, mm -hmm. you know, I remember when I got married, my husband loves to snack at night. I don't know if you do this, but he eats at night. So I figured I want to keep him company. I'm eating at night, and before you know it, I'm 10 pounds heavier at the end of the year. And I was like, oh, I kind of let myself go. didn't even know it. Mm -hmm. And I'm together 18 years now. Oh, so wow. I don't, you know, I said, okay, there's got to be better ways to connect. That wasn't working for me. And then sometimes that fairy tale marriage, you think it's going to be, you know, well, I'm going to, I'm going to have this best life, things are wonderful, and, and everything else, and you find out you traded in your Mrs. Maiden name for Mrs. Somebody Else, Supergirl becomes Superwoman, she's cooking, cleaning, taking care of everything, and doesn't know how to take care of herself. She forgot about the most important relationship she had, and that was the one she had with herself at the beginning, so she grows resentful, frustrated, angry, oh. and then before you know it, the food becomes her best friend, or the TV, or the social media, or something to escape, because she doesn't She's not getting what she wants anymore. Or the mommy trades in her sexy for loafers, you know, and the mommy haircut because it's faster and easier. And let's not do the makeup because that just takes up too much time, right? And before we know it, we're, we're in a place where we feel like we failed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like I failed. I can't do anything anyway. So you grow resentment. You start becoming bitter, nagging. And it's when I say ugly, ugly is emotional as well as physical, and people don't realize it. So if you don't want to be the ugly wife, you need to make sure you go back to being the pretty bride you were at the beginning, and you won't need to do it later. You know, you have a fabulous book <laughs> called, right, Fine to Fab is the name of your book as well. You know, give us some other tips, though, if we find ourselves, especially after listening to you, that maybe we do have those ugly loafers, and, and maybe we have put on a few pounds. With my husband, it's beer, and I, we could go toe-to-toe -to -toe for beer for a while. Then we looked in the mirror, and I'm like, oh, my, oh my goodness. So really quick, just a few quick tips for us. Well, I kind of went through them really fast before, I'll, but I'll say the thing is the idea. The magic one, the one magic one. The one magic one. The one magic one is to take care of your mother's daughter. It, oh, love it. Even, even on a plane, they say put the oxygen mask on you first before you mm -hmm. take care of anybody else. So if you want to make sure you're in that long-lasting, loving relationship, the pretty wife Honey, is thank <laughs> you. the pretty bride's a pretty <laughs> wife, you know what, take care of you first, then, then you'll be there for everyone else. Lisa Lieberman-Wang, as always, we love you so much. Thank you for all of this insight. We appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure.